We considered Powdron to be an 800 year old family owned SME. And obviously we cover heritage business, tourism, sustainable land management, and a lot of community well-being and engagement. So, you know, it covers a lot of bases, but it's really a, just a family owned business. Powdrum has always been a place where people come to be entertained. It, it's basically the castle is a is a kitchen and a large great hall in its original uh, format. But you built that not to keep people out, but to bring people in and to entertain and build relationships. And you know what we do today with weddings, events, with the visitor business is much the same as what Sir Philip was doing when he built Powdrum in 1390. You know he was he was trying to create remarkable experiences and maintain a network of people locally that that would serve him and serve the community in, in equal measure. Lots of people said, you know, well, what are you going to do different? And, you know, how are you going to change things? It's like, you know, we're, we're probably not going to do anything different, but we'll do everything slightly differently. And that from the, the, the ground up, you know, basic values and the way we wanted to approach the business, what we were trying to achieve, etc. And so, you know, with the assets that you have at power, with the infrastructure, with the, the necessary maintenance and upkeep and such. You can't change things radically, but you can make everything a little bit different. And, and we're continuing on that, um, on that track. And it's been a really hard, but satisfying five, six years of uh, management since. One of the you know, real positives was early on, we got visited by Radio One and they wanted to bring their big weekend here. And we were lucky enough to host that. 2016, which was our first really full year in charge. Our aim is to try and provide a little bit of, of music for everybody. And for a few years, we had we, we had some electronic dance music, the Lockdown Festival, which was great fun. And so you want to be able to provide music for all interests and tastes in the hope the sort of local community gets to enjoy some of these international artists in Devon. And I've often been fascinated by by the House of Lords and particularly by the role of the hereditary peerage. Uh, I was really fascinated to, to see if, you know, my, my background, my professional background could be of any use. I'm also, you know, as Earl of Devon, lucky enough to live within the county of which I'm an Earl and would really wanted the opportunity to champion uh, the county's interests in in Westminster. And it's, it's public service and it also enables me to, you know, be a little bit engaged in the things that I'm passionate about. And as a barrister and a litigator, I am an advocate. I like standing on my feet, making an argument. And so it's using that skill set, hopefully to make the world a little bit better.